Hello and welcome back on my YouTube channel, Par Doshi, Learning by Doing. So before a week or two, I uploaded a video on getting started with UiPath forms in 2023. Now after that, even I'm exploring what more new features have came in UiPath forms 2023. I was also going to some of the forum queries that are there about these latest forms. And I found one of the questions that was very much repeating. And even I found it interesting to learn it in a new way which was happening differently in the old forms that we had, right? So as you can already see the title of this particular video, we are going to see what is new about a data table UI element or a data table control, you can say, in UI path forms. So we are going to talk about that. How to pass data from an Excel file and display it in UI path forms only for display, not editing. Editing, we have a different control you can say that is data grid or edit grid in ui path forms but today we will see about what if you only want to display the data in data table all right so let's get started now to work with ui path forms you have to install ui path form activities okay so you need to go to manage packages go to all packages type over here ui path dot form dot activities and this one you need to install the latest version and that is the very first one. now with the latest forms like i've told talked about in the previous introduction video as well you have to create form from here so you click this you give it a name and you create the form so i've already created a form called as display data table ui form when you double click it it opens like this particular workflow this would be empty now if you go to data components you will see hidden container data map data grid edit grid data table we are going to see about all of them one after the other in the future videos but today what we are going to talk about is data table so you drag and drop a data table now let's see the advanced features over here now some of the advanced features as you can already see are highlighted over here you can sort the data table if you want to give that particular option. You can filter it if there are any filter conditions that you want to add or you just want to let the user filter it. Column resizable, like normally how we do in Excel that the serial number column is a smaller one than two date is bigger or something like that. In the orchestrator also we see that kind of thing happening with the jobs tab if we navigate over that. Pagination, this is something very interesting. So items per page you can see over here 10. 20. This was not there in the previous forms that we had. So if you see here, that is their page one of zero because we don't want to make, like if we have 50 rows of data, we just don't want to display it everything in one page, right? If user wants to do it, that is okay. But as a good user experience in the form, we won't do it, right? So that is something that you can give. Again, there is logic and conditional logic that you can add, but for now we are going to skip that. Filled key is very important to be used in any of the well, any of the data table controls that you are using or form controls that you are using. Now, coming back to form, why I have these two text boxes over here? Now, let me show you how my Excel file looks like that I want to display over here. So this is my Excel file that I want to display. I'm just going to copy it, add it. Okay. Now, if you see here, I have two columns, ID and name. That same thing you have to perform in UiPath forms. Many people are confused with the forum posts that I'm seeing that how do we map the data table? Because first, what we used to do is we used to have the text boxes and all in data grid. We used to pass data table underscore this and it used to get mapped with grid keyword or data table keyword as far as I can remember. But now it has changed a little. Now what you need to do is whatever columns that you have, you add that text boxes or text number element that you want to add over here. So this is number, this is text box. I have added all as text field only. So you add this. Now, once you add this, click on edit, the field key should be the same as the column name as well. So if you see here, the column name is ID. This field key should be ID. The display name could be different, employee ID or anything. But the field key needs to be the same that is your column name. 
So I've added this first column and I've added this second column name. All right. So these are the two, these are the things that you need to do is you have to use a data table and also you need to save the field key for data table as well. So if I go over here, field key and this So now I have three keys over here. I'm going to pass value only to one of them. We will see how that is happening, but this is what you need to do to display a data table in UiPath forms. Okay, now I'm going to build a workflow that is going to show this form. So if you can, let's take a quick few seconds pause. If you can remember what activity to use a form, then just already try searching and try and build the automation if you are already building it along with me in the video. Now, to the activity that we use is going to be the show form activity. So I've already built a workflow where I'm reading the file and I'm going to show the form. Now there are three items in the dictionary. Okay. And I'm going to edit this. If I open it in advanced editor, you will see that there are three keys that I've passed. One is my data table for my data table control. Then there is ID and then there is name. So what you need to do is whenever you are working with data tables in UiPath forms, create one argument for your data table of type data table where you will pass the data and create other arguments that will just have the column names. It could be string, it could be integer, it could be any other data type that you want to write, but it has to be an in argument over here and here as well. Here is where you mentioned your field key. So if you see this, this is my field key, this is my field key, and this is my field key. Here I'm not passing any data that current row, current column or anything like that. Nothing at all. Here we are just going to pass us DT enter. Now when I click on save, I'm going to disable this. I'll talk about this feature as well towards the end of the video. Now when I click on debug, okay, it is going to throw an error. Good, we close the. Okay. So now if you see, 1 to 10 of 11 and I have to go on page second. So this is how pagination works over here. I'm going to click on submit. It will just close the form because there's nothing that we are doing after that. But this is how you pass the data into a data table in UiPath forms, the latest forms 2023. Now, what is this particular feature? Continue the workflow, continue workflow execution. Now, Right now, when I executed it, we could see the form we navigated through it and we did some operations. Now, when I click this continue workflow execution, right? I'm going to run it. It hardly showed for a few seconds and it stopped the execution. So this means continue workflow execution means after the form is displayed, continue the workflow execution. If you are doing nothing over here, it will just close it. But if you are doing some operation, it will perform that operations, right? And then once the operation is being performed, you can again use show form activity. They will display the form, right? So that is how this continue workflow execution property works. So I hope this video helped you understand. It was a short video quickly to understand how to work with data tables and pass the data since I was seeing multiple forum queries related to it. Hope this video helped you to understand that and We'll be making more videos on UiPath forms, but if you have anything specific that you are trying to implement or want to learn about in UiPath forms, please do feel free to post that in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to record a video on that. Thank you so much for watching the complete video. See in the next video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe the video. Thank you.